All right, everyone, how's it going? Um, a friend of mine recently asked me, how do I update a Nix package if it's out of date on Nix? So that particular package in this case is called MLTIN or MILTIN. Uh, it's a standard ML compiler. And uh, there's this, this MILTIN head version, which is actually pretty old. And there's also this MILTIN version. So if we just go like look this thing up in Nix packages, it's kind of interesting. Um, we have this default.nix with a few different variants of this thing. And so there's Milton head, which is, um, I don't know, some revision of Milton. And then there's, there's Milton here. So, uh, usually the way I do this is exactly what I just did. I, I look at Milton, uh, if I know it's out of date, like in this particular case, I already know it's out of date, but I could open up my Nix REPL and check that it's out of date. And then I'll just press source. And it usually gets me to approximately this default.nix. And then we can start looking at it. So in this particular case, we see like, okay, we have this revision from 2018, which is obviously pretty old at this point. And we have this uh, head, which we don't actually know what this is, but it's no big deal. Uh, what we want to do is just get the most uh, recent Milton and we'll just compile that. So here's Milton. It's just MLTIN, uh, MLTIN on GitHub. And I basically just looked at the tags. And I saw that there's a recent tag here. Well, I guess first I should point out that it's not building on masters. So we probably don't want to build that. And uh, I did find this release here and this commit here, which uh, passed CI seemingly. So we probably can use this version. And it's also like a, a January release from this year. So, I mean, this is pretty old if you think about it, but it's better than 2018. So let's see if we can get this one going. Um, so uh, I made, like I already did a little bit of research for the video just to make sure I didn't screw anything up. And so uh, this is how I would do this if I wanted to like get this thing into a shell. So first things first, we need to be able to get the thing um, from Nix packages so that we can update it. Or we just need like to pin our Nix packages. And I've kind of been using uh, Niv for this these days. And so we can initialize Niv with this command. So Nick shell means uh, start a Nick shell with this um, package called Niv, uh, which is the tool we're using. And then we can run this command Niv init. And then dash B, uh, Nick's package unstable means go get the branch Nick's packages unstable. So we just run this thing. And I've already ran this earlier. So most of these things should be pretty quick, but you'll see some issues uh, depending on what you're doing. Um, why do I use Niv to do this? Uh, the reason I use Niv is because I always forget how to pin Nix packages, and this will just do it for me. So I don't really need to think that carefully about it. Um, it generates this file, sources.json, uh, which contains the most recent Nix packages unstable, and I've kind of just pinned them, and, and I, can, I don't need to worry about this. So next things that we need to do are basically just get this thing uh, into a shell so we can add MLTIN to it. So we'll just open up shell.nix. And I kind of just know how to do this now, but uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. So with Niv, basically you need to import your sources. So that comes from Nix, sources.nix. Then we need our packages, which we import from our sources, Nix packages. And this one you need to like run. So this is saying like run sources Nix packages with no input. And then what we need to do is we're going to packages, make a shell, and that shell needs build inputs of something. So here is where we're going to end up putting um, Milton, but we don't have it yet. So we can just start like a literal empty Nick shell. And this in theory should compile. I'm pretty sure it's right. Um, the other thing I like to do is, oh, I'll show you again. Um, Again, repetition is kind of key here. If I run this Nick shell, you'll see I switch shells. So I go from fish to bash. And I don't know, my my favorite, or right now the easiest way to do that is just to create, uh, or use direnv and just let that go. So we'll direnv allow. And then now we're in a Nick shell. Uh, again, I'll just keep like hammering these things in. If you see on pier here, you're inside of a Nick shell. So we're in a Nick shell with no tools. We don't actually need any tools at the moment. We're just going to, um, yeah, uh, Nick shell in here. If it's impure, 
we're good to go. So the next step is we need to like bring in the pieces of Milton that we need, uh, the Nyx related stuff. So we don't need this default. Uh, what we need to do is basically copy this Melton head thing and then replace it with the pieces we need. So that means we need to get this from uh, get source bit, which turns out to be in the same directory, which is nice. So let's just go get this. Uh, for some reason, I have to press that three times. So we just copy this and uh, w get it. And then we'll move the from this to nix milton dot nix. I don't really see a point in calling it from git source in this particular case. So we'll just call it milton dot nix. Okay. Then in our shell dot nix, we can just like import this thing and modify it. So we will uh, packages call package. So again, I'm just like copying the code here. Uh, actually, I could literally copy it just so it's it's clear. Um, so we'll grab default.nix. We'll grab this bit right here. And we'll literally just copy it in because like the point is we should be able to do this very quickly. So uh, this Milton bootstrap thing is part of Nix packages. So let me just quickly show you that as well. Oops, uh, wrong thing. I wanted that one. Uh, so if we do nix, um, nix REPL, we can load these sources from our nix REPL. So we're inside the same directory and we can just like poke around with this stuff. So we can just, again, I, I'm just going to copy and paste stuff. I'm doing this very, uh, non-interestingly. Um, so now that we have packages, we need to find this Milton binary. It turns out that we can like just find it here. So it's actually no big deal. We can just replace this with, uh, packages and it'll just get us to this Milton binary. I don't exactly know what this is doing. I'm not a standard ML person, um, but anyway, like we can just include this thing, no big deal. Um, I don't see any reason for us to call it head. It's not head, uh, so we'll just call it Milton. And then now we just need to replace this stuff. So let's do that. Um, first things first, we need to go grab the commit hash that we saw over here. So our commit hash is here. So we just grab that. Uh, so there's our revision. We also need that version, which was just the tag, I guess. Uh, we can probably call it whatever we want, but I suppose the tag makes the most sense. And now this is where the usually the problem ensues. Um, th this, this SHA is not correct for this revision. So one thing we can do, and th this feels like we can just leave this here, but I want to show you one thing that I uh, always forget exists, but is pretty useful. So if we write packages lib, fake SHA-256, we can use this to just like fill in an empty uh, SHA and then it will complain and then we can fix it later. And the other thing we have to do is add Milton here. So this Milton is that Milton right there. It's not the, um, the call package piece. Oh, also I need to update this because this is not correct. Uh, Milton. Okay. And that's not correct either. There we go. So we have our Milton bootstrap, we have our version, we have our revision, and we have this fake SHA-256, and then we include Milton in our shell. So if we do this, um, oh, I made a mistake. I need to call this packages.callPackage, and now uh, we get another error. Let's see. This didn't happen a minute ago which is pretty interesting. Oh, right. Uh, it doesn't have this. Okay. So if we look down at the bottom here, we see, uh, this meta.nix, no such file or directory. And the reason for that is if we look in, hang on, if we look in here, it's trying to read this meta file at the bottom here. Sorry. I, I did run into this earlier. Um, so it turns out that we just need, we can just delete that. Like we don't actually, we don't care about that. Um, you, you probably would care about it if you were like, uh, updating this or like using it on, uh, in Nix packages directly. But since we're kind of just, um, using it here, we don't, we don't need to worry about that. So what this is going to do is, excuse me, uh, it's going to go to fetch the release that we just asked for. And then it's going to say, Hey, wait a second. Uh, you told me that the Shaw was going to be this but I actually got this and there's tools to like, um, there's tools to get this directly. Uh, it's one of them's called Nix dash prefix dash 
get or something uh but i never remember those tools and so i just usually put in things like this fake sha here so anyway you you can do whatever you're happy with uh, but this is usually how i make this work and as soon as we put that there you'll see that this works automatically the reason it works automatically is because i built this tool already so one thing to point out like if you want to build this milton tool it requires like 32 gigs of ram it was using almost 30 gigs of ram on my machine and probably took about 30 minutes to build so just keep that in mind if you were actually going to try this but now we've updated this shell and uh, we have milton so if we run milton you'll see it says that we're on that release and that hash um that's just part of how this um this thing works you can see that uh here for example uh nix milton nix so that's this right here milton version it will take the version and the revision and just mash them together for us and then again it was already compiled with everything uh so it's it totally works um we would have to test this a bit more and with something like a compiler i feel like we we should probably do more testing but if we next wanted to take this thing and just update it online what we could do is clone the nix packages directory and change uh not this code well maybe you want to leave this here but we could add a new version so we could say uh milton and then whatever this was, uh, 20, 21, 01, 17. And then that way we would have, sorry, we would have a new version of Milton that people could just grab from Nix packages. And there's a bunch of good documentation here, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description of the video so that we can, uh, so you can look for it. And basically it'll explain to you how you, you do the, the change. But essentially that's, would be my suggestion is you take this add a very similar um, uh, stanza as this one and call it MLTIN 2021-01-17. And then you would push that how it explains here. There's there's a, a pushing the local changes and, or sorry, making the changes, which I think we'll, we'll explain how, but we already pretty much have that. So um, there you go. That's basically how you would update a package. Um, if you don't want, you don't have to push this to Nix packages. It's just depreciated. And um, I think the maintainers of the Nix packages are actually extremely responsive and helpful. So like, if you have questions, you can reach them on the Discord, on their Discord, which I'll also put a link in the chat. So if you have questions for people, like you can just ask. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about Nix in general, I'm willing to make more of these little videos. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to get better. So thanks for hanging out. Bye.